Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to take a look at the final match of 2029-2030. Um, let's show you as well how the season's gone so far. Not as good as last season in the league. So last season we finished third and we went to the playoffs. This season we finished 11th. So not as good as last season. However, in the uh, if you look at the schedule, we went to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Uh, FA Cup a lot, losing against Leeds so that's that's pretty good um, this is the bit I'm concerned about we went below 2 million which actually has happened in the past couple of seasons so maybe um, we'll have a similar jump like we did here of um, about 6 uh, more like 7 7 million pounds uh, seven or eight million pounds um, up into the positives again and that will allow us to uh, improve our facilities in the off season so hopefully after this match we'll have the off season and that will come into money with all the prizes and etc and then we'll be able to apply for some improvements for the club and that's basically the aim to get ready for the premiership eventually in the future so um, yeah, the, the it hasn't gone too well, not according to last season, but that's okay because uh, we didn't have any money for transfers, if you remember. Um, yeah, so it's been pretty pretty sparse the types of transfers. Definitely not the big bucks millions um, that we need for the Premiership. Anyway, let's pop into this match with Derby. We're playing in their home stadium, away from home. We sold out every single match this season, including cup matches. So that's a first for, for us. And um, in the off season, one thing that's already in the way is um, as soon as we pack up for the season, they're going to close down the stadium and improve it by adding about 2,000 more seats. He was offside, I think. Yep. So the outcome of this match is completely irrelevant. Uh, whether we lose or win, we are finishing 11th. So it's just to see how we finish the season really with a win or with a loss or with a draw there are so many improvements we need in terms of squad players we need we definitely need a better attack our strikers are pretty terrible um the only players that are actually okay are the central defenders central defenders are fine Although a few of those are loans as well, so um, I think two of them are loans. Two out of the six. Um, our midfield is starting to show some cracks. Um, all of it. Uh, goalkeepers are mediocre. So there's a lot of improvements to be made. So basically, as I've been saying in previous episodes, we want to channel our funding towards improving the club, first of all. So better youth and senior facilities. And then once we've reached a level that is comparable to the clubs in the Premiership, we'll channel those funds into transfers in, uh, instead.
We are edging closer to the announcement of Football Manager 2025. That's exciting. I suspect they're going to keep the same calendar as last year, so uh, beta release in late October and then game release early November. So I'll try to do a few um, episodes around that time to show you the new game. It's going to be a completely new game, so they say. I guess the mechanics will be similar, very similar, but the visuals of it apparently are going to be very different. It's going to use the Unity engine. Um, yeah, so that's exciting. I kind of lost track of subs. There we go. Okay, for now. Yeah, so I'll try to do a few episodes in the beta. Um, um, get Owen out. We're actually going to swap them around and bring Milius in. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, there's the Patreon page as well. And you can, um, there's a few different ways you can support the channel, but one of the ways on there is to uh, give give your name to a Nugent, and then we'll follow the life of that Nugent um, for the entirety of the save. One more sub. Who's it going to be? Max Ross, I think. It has to be. The uh, frequency of the episodes might slow down a little bit now in the summer. Yeah, obviously quite busy and not having as much time uh, to play the game. So I might drop it to just once a week or even once every couple of weeks. Yeah, so they'll just slow down a little bit the rate of these episodes until the new game comes. Alright, so we've finished the season. Um, the new budget is quite big. I think it's the biggest so far. I see if there's any players we can send home. No, not yet. Okay. Uh, we've lost followers. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. That's really interesting. That's a lot of followers. I guess because we're not going up the leagues at a fast rate, people are not as interested in the story because we're not like a fast rising club anymore. Um, we've lost core supporters. We've got more family friendly supporters. We lost fair weather and we gained casual. Still overall, the majority of supporters, supporters no matter what. The influence on the board is low. Let's see if we can negotiate this club vision. What have we got? Uh, 
tried to remove as much as possible. Managed to remove the under the over thirties. Okay, I have to confirm that. So solid defense, direct football, counter attacking with the set pieces focus, and maximum one year contract for players over thirty. That's okay. Finish. Alright, so we'll see what we can do with the off season. Um and then I'll come back again at the beginning of the season for um I guess once we've played a few matches to show you how it's gone. So yeah, so we'll catch up then. Hopefully we'll get a load of money that we can use up to improve facilities. If not, we'll use that money for transfers anyway. Uh, but yeah, um I'll catch up with you in a week or so to show you how the um, the start of the season has gone. Take care. Bye bye.